It's been years in the making, but soon this old abandoned and dark Publix building will be torn down to make way for a new Harris Teeter. But for one local business owner, she says that she's not on board. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> it is what it is. For Pat Harvey Palmer, she's seen the area grow for more than a decade. Well, the growth of Ladies Island is unbelievable. And with the Harris Teeter setting its sights on Ladies Island, she says it's only going to bring more people to the area. A lot of people don't like it. They say, what happened to our sweet little old Buford the way it was? But you can't stop development. I mean, you just can't. The new grocery store, convenience store and gas station will sit on the busy corner of the Sea Island Parkway and Sam's Point Road. Plus, we got this new business, uh, but the business is coming in because we do have, uh, you know, pretty dramatic growth across some parts of the Sea Island. However, Mayor Stephen Murray says he, along with others, are excited for the new store and that the city and county have been working on how to handle the growth in the area. They've received some feedback from citizens, and so now they're working with the planning staff uh, to make sure that what comes out of the ground over there is reflective of, of Ladies Island's vision, and it's something that residents can be proud of. While Harvey Palmer isn't looking forward to the increase in traffic, she says the grocery store would still be an asset. They'll have business from other areas, not just Ladies Island and St. Helena. They'll come from Buford because it's just gotten more upper scale than what we're used to. It's not quite as mom and pop stuff anymore like it used to be. Right now this development is still being finalized and a projected opening date has not yet been announced. On Ladies Island, Danny Robinson, WJCL 22 News.